Nobody wants to sign Matt Cardona. NXT has debuted on the CW network. And a champion vs. champion dream match has been announced for AEW Dynamite. Welcome to Wrestling Republic News, your daily show which discusses all the non dirty wrestling news across the world of professional wrestling. Before I get into all of today's wrestling news, if you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be very much appreciated. Neither WWE or AEW have approached Matt Cardona. And I can't quite believe it. In an interview with Conway Fight Club, Cardona revealed that neither WWE or AEW have contacted him and make any legitimate offer, and that he is quote-unquote legit shocked about the situation. And many fans agree. Cardona has undoubtedly set the independent scene on fire since leaving WWE, and while many talents when they get released from WWE go to AEW or TNA and sign exclusive contracts, he decided to bet on himself and join the independent scene. And of course, he has appeared, you know, a couple of times in AEW and more in TNA. It's never been an exclusive contract. We asked our Instagram broadcast channel about this, and one fan said that he believes Cardona should be a main eventer wherever he goes, and I'm inclined to agree. But that does bring up a good point. Because Matt Cardona has previously said that wherever he does end up going, he wants to be known as Matt Cardona and not Zack Ryder. Could this be a deal breaker for WWE? I mean, of course, WWE let Sean Spears return with the Sean Spears name instead of Ty Dillinger, but that was also in NXT, not the main roster. WWE are in a kind of a weird situation right now where they're kind of being more lenient than ever before. So as fans, we're not exactly sure where the line is. So maybe him going to Matt Cardona is just a step too far for them if he wants to be a main event star. But another fan on our channel said that he believes Cardona deserves to return under that name because of the amount of work he's put in. And again, a good point. But someone else did bring up an interesting point, and that is where would he fit in on WWE's roster, and they suggested the SmackDown mid-card, and yeah, I could see that, I'd love for him to be a main eventer, but yeah, it's probably more likely he'd be in the upper mid-card. But I do agree with Third Man Wheel that we do need to see Matt Cardona as world champion, he deserves it. But some fans such as Jose99 want him to stay on the independent scene because of how important he is to the scene. And honestly, that's also a very good point. I mean, if he does leave the independent scene, well, some of those companies could be hurting. But at the same time, he does deserve the bag. NXT debuted on the CW Network last night, and it's safe to say the show was a blast. Roxanne Perez retained the NXT Women's Championship against Julia with help from a returning Cora Jade. Wesley picked up the win against Zachary Wentz in a street fight, and Trick Williams defeated Ethan Page to become the NXT Champion once again with CM Punk as the special guest referee. The show also featured a new logo, a new color scheme, and new title designs. But was the redesign really needed? When the new SmackDown logo came out a few weeks ago, to me, it felt really needed. The previous logo was around for over five years, and it kind of needed a new fresh coat of paint. But NXT's current logo is pretty much a year old. Of course, it stems back to NXT 2.0, but the white and gold theme is only about a year old now. I don't understand why they've changed it. It felt the brand was really growing into that identity. And the new silver and black color scheme, I don't know about it. It kind of feels a little bland to me, dare I say. A fan online said that they loved it because it looks old school. And yeah, good point. But isn't the point of NXT meant to be that it's new and fresh and pushing the boundaries? Another fan said it's a good logo, but it could do with some gold. And again, I agree because... Gold is so important in the history of NXT. They got rid of it for a while with NXT 2.0 and everyone hated it. They then brought it back and NXT was on the rise once again. Why get rid of it? But meanwhile, other fans are loving it. It's certainly dividing opinion. But what's not dividing opinion is how much people are loving this new era of NXT on the CW Network. The debut was a blast and I cannot wait for next week. Brian Danielson vs. Kazuchika Okada has been announced for tonight's episode of AEW Dynamite in a Champion vs. Champion match. 
For the first 20 minutes, both championships will be on the line, but after the 20 minute mark, it will only be the AEW championship. Now, I will never complain about seeing Danielson versus Okada, but I will complain about seeing another champion versus champion match. I think it might be a hint when you're having champion versus champion matches every single month on your TV show that perhaps you have too many championships. The stipulation itself also makes it so obvious, at least to me, that Danielson is going to win after 20 minutes. And MJF took to social media to make fun of fans who don't really understand the stipulation. And yeah, it's an easy stipulation to understand, but that doesn't make it a good stipulation. And I agree completely with this fan who's so excited for the match, but just does not like the stipulation. And pretty much social media is just full of fans saying the same thing about this. Okada versus Danielson is going to be incredible, no doubt about it, but this stipulation, it's lazy booking. Of course, also on tonight's episode of AEW Dynamite, we're going to have Will Ospreay versus Ricochet in a match which I am pumped for, as well as Britt Baker versus Serena Deeb and Hangman Page versus Juice Robinson. Additionally, AEW CEO Tony Khan has teased an announcement of sorts, but that announcement could happen before Dynamite, according to him. Could it be a new TV deal? I think so. But hey, this show should be a blast. This week in wrestling, I mean, it's been absolutely terrific so far, and it's only going to get better with bad blood this weekend as well. What a time to be a wrestling fan. Anyway, that's all the news for today. If you guys did enjoy, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I will see you tomorrow, same time, same place. See you then. Peace.